Shalom Vocha, and we're learning from the Likute Halachot of Rabbi Natan of Breslev on the morning, um, on the morning Halachot, the rules that we need to keep every morning, um, way we dress, way we wear our clothing, and on. And um, we know the Likute Halachot is not the book of rules, it's not the Shulchan Aruch, just a book that looks into the depths of spirituality and the message of Hashem through the Halachot. So we are in section Yud, section 10. And that's the aspect of the days of Chanukah, the holy day of Chanukah, holy days of Chanukah, because lighting the candle of Chanukah is in the aspect of pulling godly achievements by constrictions, by challenges. That from there, the main illumination of all lights and candles of holiness, in the aspect of what it is written in the Zohar, HaKadosh, that we are illuminating the candles and lighting the, the lamps, the lights, שזהו לאנהרה שרגין ולאדלקה בוצינין. שזהו בחינת תפילין מוכין. That is in the aspect of תפילין, wisdom, that are the main godly achievement. So a person that is desiring wisdom and his mind is not in purity, not in kedusha, not in holiness, he is not supposed to um, count on his achievements as if they were from God. Only when a person is constricted, means focused and aimed towards serving and fulfilling his mission and doing his thing according to the law of Hashem, to the rules and to the Torah, mitzvot of the Torah, then his godly achievements are definitely showing and reflecting the love and affection of Hashem towards that person. But when a person is free from all obligations, does not put filin, does not keep Shabbat, does not eat kosher, and he is experiencing spiritual illuminations, I would question those illuminations. I would check it deeper. And on that we're saying, then in the days of Hanukkah, Veshemen Hatov Tarik al Shiva Keneha Menorah. The good oil you're gonna put pour down on the seven candles of the menorah. Because to pull down godly achievement is by Tsimtsumim, by the constrictions, that that is the aspect of how the good oil, the Shemen Mishchat Kodesh, holy oil. Mm, is being poured, being pulled down onto the menorah that is in the aspect of Hadat HaKadosh, the Holy Wisdom. Um, so we know that the wisdom of the mind of the person is similar to oil. And we know that that is a huge sign that the wisest ones, the righteous ones, the prophets, the ones that were crowned as Meshichim, as kings, as leaders of the people of Israel, were always um, um, the, the oil was the the um, the oil was the tool that the prophet who crowned them, who made that qualified them to the prophecy or to the leadership, he put the oil, the pure oil to their heads. And by that, he created a certain spiritual vessel for them to receive the wisdom that was required and essential for their completion of their mission. So, the wisdom is in the aspect of oil, and uh, the oil was being put on to their heads, into vessels, into constrictions. Means that you must do something for the wisdom to hover upon you, and that is the aspect of the candle that we need to fill the cup with the oil. So it's an obligation. It's something that you must do. That you have to put the oil into that cup. 
that those are the vessel, the oil and the wick, that in them, in those three, the light is being attached to. And it's being pulled from the aspect of godly achievements that from there, all the lights are coming. So we believe that the light is coming from a highly source, but for us to be able to enjoy it and to see it, for that we need to build a vessel, we need to build a candle here on earth, because it's the light of all lights, like that it's written, Hashem Ori Vish'i, Hashem, He is the source of my light and He is my salvation. So we know and we learned about it many times in many ways, in many in many aspects, in different, um, on different um, subjects, that the light of Hashem is a light that is being reflected down to earth. So in the actions of the temple of the Mishkan, while building and putting the candles and the menorah and lighting the candles over there, and by the miracles of Hanukkah, we can see through those physical situations or vessels means constrictions, the light of Hashem, the endless eternal light of Hashem that cannot be seen from its greatness because of its greatness. Therefore, it must find itself breaking into those constrictions, into those vessels, and then from there it can shine, means can be seen to our eyes. And that is the aspect of the great power of the wonder and miracle of the days of Hanukkah. Because then the kingship of Greece, of Greek, the evil kingship of those days, were forcing themselves on the people of Israel to force them to forget the rules of the Torah and to make them lose their religion, their faith. Because the kingship of Greek, um, of the Greeks, the evil kingship is the main aspect of foreign wisdoms because they were working very hard on like finding things through nature and they were not counting on simple faith, totally secular. The day, the wisdom of the Greeks are symbolizing that because they were putting their main effort in that to pull foreign wisdoms into the world as it's known that that was the main way the kingship of evil was overpowering the world as much as they were able to that that was in the aspect of the fourth kingship trying to conquer the kingship of holiness we learned about it that the kingship is built in a certain structure that built out of four different parts we can see that in different places in the Bible and in the prophet, in the books of the prophets. And um, the way to conquer the four kingships that are foreign kingships is by connecting all the kingships, all the sides of that square into one, to simple faith in one God and not to fall into those dividings and separations. And therefore, it was a great time of trouble because they wanted to make the Torah completely forgotten by revealing and increasing the foreign wisdoms to the minds of the people of, of Israel, of the believers. And they are all, all those foreign wisdoms, are the opposite of the simplicity of the faith in the Torah, because the Torah and the mitzvot are in the aspect of amounts and vessels through them to pull down godly achievements means that when you follow the Torah, you create vessels and into those vessels, you pull down light. So if the Torah is telling you to keep the seventh day, so you can enjoy the illumination of the seventh day only if you keep the seventh day. If the Torah is guiding and teaching you to eat certain kinds of food and not different kinds. So by following the rules and the regulations of the Torah, 
you are bringing light into those vessels through following those constrictions, through following those halachot. And they wanted, the Greeks, they wanted to make the Torah and mitzvot disappear and totally forgotten by increasing the foreign wisdoms that they are in the aspect of the evil kingship, of the four kingships that were overpowering the holy kingship that is the bottom wisdom like we learn. The bottom wisdom means the way to learn the wisdom from the bottom, means from this world, to believe in one God. And like now, with in our in the in the difficult days that we're experiencing, that there are many people who does not have faith at all and trying to overpower the world and wants to pull foreign wisdoms into the world to make people forget the Torah completely, like we can see with our senses, that people that are being pulled after their ways is dropping the yoke of heavens completely and shaves his beard and cutting his side girls curls and drinking wine not by the laws of the Torah till he removes from his shoulders the yoke of heavens completely. May God save us from that. But Hashem Barach, with his great mercy brought healing to that um, to that pain and made a great wonder with us, a wonderful thing in the days of Matityahu, the son of Yohanan, that was a great servant, Kohen Gadol, that it was not enough that they conquered and rejected the kingship of the evil Greeks, a great uh, rejection that was never seen before. Not only that, just also that by the great wonder, they pulled a wonderful light into the world for generations. Not only in that generation, they were strong enough to reject the Greeks. Also that until today, the light is being shine in every house and we are still remembering and refreshing our memory and purifying our minds with the story and the tale of the wonder that was taking place in that generation. And by that we have the power to pull a great light, everyone in his own house means the light of godly achievements by constrictions, like we learned, that that is the aspect of the correction that is explained in the Torah, that as much as the sick person had, is suffering from a greater sickness, he needs a greater righteous man to be the one who will take care of him, a wiser person that will be able to prescribe amazing cures, potions and medications to shine to that person godly achievement. And that aspect is being pulled on us in those holy days of Hanukkah by the great righteous people who are in great high, high levels that they established for us to light the candle of Hanukkah. That by that we have the power to pull that aspect of illumination on each and every one of us in our own houses, even if we are as we are. Means not in the highest level of them all. Thank you so much. You know me, my name is RDMC With the Muna Project, all the nations with me Close your eyes, just breathe, see the truth Don't chase the fake world, don't buy the fake news Be yourself, your own true self Don't let no one take our natural wealth See the good, no fear, no despair Cherish who that you are from an endless spring, light up courage in yourself. You they can kick you down to the ground, hold yourself up till you are put up your crown. King of the Creator, holy soul inside. Focus on the spiritual and you shall.